off with family. It's time to do another Q&A Sunday. I'm choosing to do it outside because today I got to do lots of shoveling. As you saw earlier, well, you didn't see it yet, but um, I'm doing lots of shoveling. It's a lot I got to do. And you'll see that on Monday's vlog, how much I actually have to do. I have to do my entire walkway. I got to do the public stair, the public, blah, 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 the public um, sidewalk to the left of my house and the public sidewalk to the right of my house since I live on a corner. So I figured with everything looking the way it's looking right now, why not just do a Q&A Sunday outside? So hope you appreciate this. Let's get into it real quick because it's kind of cold. <laughs> but you know, I love y'all. Y'all know that. So I enjoy doing what I'm doing. Let me just make that very clear. I, I love what I do. I love doing YouTube videos. I love sharing my life with you. I love just doing everything that I'm doing. I really, I really love it. And I hope you do too. Um, let's start off real quick with um, a quick shout out, all right? I had an alpha ask me for a shout out. His name is Sports for Days 3. He has a gaming channel. He mostly does sports or football from what I've seen so far. Um, he's requested a couple times for me to do a shout out for him, so I figure why not, you know? So, um, Alpha, bruh, bruh, I got you. Um, I hope you do well with your channel. I hope it takes you far and I hope you're very successful. The next thing I want to do is get real quick into the questions that I got this week and see if I can answer them for you truthfully. And like we always do, there's no edits. So what you get is what you get from me. Um, the first question is, I noticed that you see movies before they come out. How do you do that? All right, so every week pretty much that a movie's coming out, um, I get, it's not every week that it comes out, every single week pretty much or every other week, I get an email from um, several different movie studios asking me to um, go see movies and go request, not request, they send out an email basically asking who wants to go see a specific movie that they're um, having come out soon and I just answer the email and I go. I mean, it's really that simple. I, um, there's no magic. I'm not um, part of anything specific. It's just I get, I get the emails from the studios because I signed up with the studios and I get to see them early. So if you wanted to see movies early, all you have to do is sign up with the different studios and they'll send you emails. And you don't have to pay. What is your favorite kind of movie? My favorite kind of movie, honestly, is horror. But I'm getting more into comedy movies nowadays, but my absolute all-time love and favorite is always going to be horror movies. How much money do you make on YouTube? I don't make any money on YouTube. Believe it or not, I don't make any money on YouTube. Um, do I have my videos monetized? I do. But the most I've made so far is about, I believe, $2.15 not really making anything so if you think I'm doing it for the money <laughs> I'm not doing it for the money I'm doing it just for the pure love of what I'm doing how much weight have you lost so far since you started your YouTube videos I've lost 23 pounds as of yesterday I didn't weigh myself this morning because I didn't know I didn't know I was gonna get this question until about 10 minutes ago when I got them from my inbox um, and I like my answers to be authentic. So as of yesterday, it was about 23 pounds. When is the LDR start? Well, you've seen the trailers, the trailers, you've seen the intros at the end of my videos because I'm trying to get you to see that it's coming. But the LDR stuff is gonna be coming pretty soon. The only reason why you haven't seen anything from me and DRock yet on the LDR channel is purely because of weather. That's it. The weather's been bad for the past couple of days and we just haven't had the time on the free days that we had to um, take care of it. So as soon as this weather lets up a little bit, we'll be able to get together and meet because I live in Baltimore and he actually lives down closer to the DC side. So we have to actually connect every time. And then I got a funny question from an alpha and that question was, are you afraid to fart? And if so, and if not, let it rip on camera. <laughs> I'm not afraid to fart, honestly. <laughs> I'm not, but I'm not gonna let one rip on camera either. Um, I know it would be funny. I know you'd probably get a laugh out of it, but that's just not me, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do fart jokes or anything like that. 
Sorry, y'all, was my camera actually um, overheated for some reason. Maybe because I brought it outside and it um, hasn't warmed up yet. It turned it on right away, but um, I'm not staying, I'm not sitting down anymore because my butt's wet and it's really cold. And I was trying to stick with the theme of sitting down Sundays, but I couldn't do it. But um, for the last question, and I apologize because I don't like to make uh, my sit down Sundays or Q&A Sunday seem like I'm editing it. I, I'm not. My camera literally said that it was overheating, so I had to stop. But um, no, I don't do fart jokes. So I appreciate the question. The question actually made me laugh. I really needed to laugh that day. And um, quite frankly, that made my entire day when I saw that. So thank you for sending that question. Um, the other thing I want to say to you guys is I'm not stopping doing these videos. I'm not going to let up and I'm going to keep going. And as much criticism and as much critiques and comments and support I can get is the more I can do and the better I can make these channels. So I've gotten some pretty good criticism so far. And from what I've gotten, the one that I liked the most so far was the evolution of my vlogs, the evolution of my videos. Y'all like when I go out and actually do things, which I agree. I like when I actually go out and do things too. Um, so I need to start doing that. And the other thing you guys are asking me to do is, oh, ah, my tooth, sorry. Yeah, my tooth still hurt me. The other thing that you're asking me to do is make my videos and my vlogs a little bit more quirky, quirkier or funnier. Um, I'm going to look into that because honestly, um, that's really a big part of who I am to be straight up with you. I'm pretty stupid. However, I don't know. For some reason, I'm not all the way comfortable yet doing that on camera. It's just, it's a part of me, but there's a bit of um, self-consciousness with that. And that's just me being straight up with you. Um, of course I can do the quirky things. Of course I can just, I can be stupid, but... Um, like I said, the I'm just not there yet. And I will get there, and we're gonna have many adventures, especially this upcoming spring when things start getting better. I'll be able to go out more places. You're gonna see me and D-Rock going out a lot and doing a lot of traveling. Every month, I believe from February all the way to December, we're gonna be going to a different place every month together and just vlogging and having a good time. But. I'm gonna try. That's the thing I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna try to make them a little quirkier. Um, I'm gonna try to make them more me. Um, and let me make that very clear. I am not gonna be funny because you're asking me to or because I feel like that's what I need to gain more subscribers or viewership. It's more or less because that's really truly a part of me. And that's not a side that people really see often. Chris knows it. D-Rock knows it, um, Terry knows it. A lot of people that you've seen, they know me in that way. And they've also said, hey, why aren't you being yourself? Why aren't you being stupid and funny? And I don't know, just not there. Oh, snap, somebody. Whoop, whoop, that's the sound of that police. Nah, it's an ambulance. <laughs> they ain't coming for me yet. Yeah, that's 100% authentic. <laughs> that's the streets of Baltimore, 100% authentic. Um, people are out here literally driving, literally doing what they need to do to get around, and I'm not understanding that. And you know what? Let me just give you a quick view of what I'm looking at right now. This is the city. <sighs> that is what people are driving in. That's what they're driving in. And quite frankly, I don't know why. I just cut that frame just now because it showed my address and I don't want to show my address as of yet. Or oh, I don't think I will <laughs> because I've seen what that happened, what happens when people's addresses are shown um, based on what I've seen with Fuzi and what I've seen with Matthew and, and other YouTubers, the types of things that happen to them when their addresses are revealed. So, Sorry for that little cut. I did edit that part, and I want to be truthful about that. It was only because of my address. But, alphas. 
I'm noticing that I'm getting some subscribers sometimes, and then I lose subscribers sometimes. And I'm not sure what to do about that because I'm going to continue to be me and I'm going to continue to do what this channel is meant to do and it's to help me with my fitness goals and for me to share you share with you my wisdom or share with you the things that I've learned along the way. I'm not just here to be here and I'm not going to be fake and I'm not going to pretend to be something I'm not. So I'm going to be straight up and honest with you if you don't like my channel I respect you fully. I really do because I'm just not for everybody but um, if you're rocking with me and if you like what I'm doing I rock with you 100% I'm behind you 100% because that's what this is about that's what an alpha does an alpha is somebody that sticks up stands up and leads first they don't follow the Joneses and I'm not gonna do that What else I got? You guys are my family. And I respect every last one of you. And I have no desire to stop this thing. So whatever happens with my subscriber count, whether it goes up or whether it goes down, I'm going to keep being that this, what you're seeing right here. I'm going to keep being this. and. I think that's what a lot of you love about me, is that I keep it real, I keep it 100, I don't lie, I don't fake, and I'm authentic. And the ones that like me for that are the ones that are just like that, and those are my alphas. So, that's a little piece of me. Um, real quick, what else do you not know about me? Um, I went to school, when I say school, college, I went to college um, for electrical engineering and I also went to college for um, human resources management and I honestly don't use any of it. <laughs> My job is unrelated to anything I've done in college and it's quite funny. What I actually do right now is, that's a snowplow, sorry, what I do right now is I work I work for a pretty reputable insurance carrier and I do a lot of things for them. I can't really reveal what I do, but in a nutshell, that's what I do. I work for an insurance carrier and I handle a lot of um, the business of what they do for everyone in the Maryland, D.C. and Virginia area. Um, this is something on YouTube that I would like to do on the side because Quite frankly, I want to just start letting loose a little bit more and letting myself come out a little bit more um, and do something with my life other than just sit behind a desk. So that's a little tidbit from me. Tell me something a little bit about you. Inbox me, email me, comment below, like and subscribe and share this video. And you know what? I love you. I appreciate you. And I know you truly have my back. I know that for sure. So, how about this? I'm going to do another little video right quick. I'm going to actually roll right into my life flight video for next month. And I'm going to wait for my frat brother to come help me with my backyard. And that's it for the day. So, look. I appreciate you. I want you to live life. That's what I'm going to be saying from now on. Because that's what really matters. I want you to live life. And I want you to know. That life demands results. That's a really deep. Thought. If you think about it. If you think about what life demands results really means for you. It becomes really deep. It becomes a mantra to live by. To push yourself for excellence. Right? So live life. Life demands results. So what do your results say about you? What is it saying now?